Welcome to one of the last great relics in the NFL, Arrowhead Stadium, for this matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs. The running back position today, manned by a couple of stars of the sport. What are you looking for here? Yeah, it's kind of refreshing, isn't it, to do a game where it's all about the running backs. We have to talk about the how good the quarterback is and aren't they special well these two running backs are special and we see it each week how they play and then also we see it how the offenses are designed it is around the running backs set up his team in excellent field position. Well, a lot of good things happened on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. First and 10. McCoy is going to take the handoff now. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you've got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football, that's how you stop long runs. Selleck's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. First and 10, working that left side. No one in sight, has the grab. We watched them in practice this week, Bill. Practicing plays inside the 20. Let's see what they come out with their first opportunity today inside the red zone. Well, you've said it many times. This is where you win or lose the football game. They got the quarterback and the receivers to make it happen. First and goal. The quarterback will hand it off. And he's in for the touchdown. This will make you feel good early in the game. You're down near the goal line, and you just line up and you run the football right at the defense and get a touchdown. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. up now bring out the jumbo formation throws to the right almost intercepted incompletion by the quarterback that time it was good tight man-to-man -man coverage second down following that incompletion the handoff running behind the tackle you got to know if you're going to run the football you're going to have a lot of short games there's going to be a lot of plays that look ugly that's just the way it is you got to live with it and know what's coming in the future charles is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back has the no one's going to get him now the 40 the 30 the 20 the 10, no stopping him, taking it all the way home for the touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there, they tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. Extra point is good. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Double, double, double. First down here, McCoy. 
breaks free, has some space to work with. When you have a defense as fast as this one, they over-pursue. So that's why you want to run a counter run. Take advantage of the fact that they are just charging too fast, too hard, and not thinking on the defensive side. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. By the looks of that, you can tell. It looks like a major injury, and uh, it's, just, it's a tough sport. A lot of big hits, and uh, I hope he's going to be okay. Cooper's lined up now as a slot receiver. On third and 12. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. to the right side and throwing. And they'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. Alex Smith will take it right from the center. First and 10, flip to the outside. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Back to the ground now on first down. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field the offense runs it they are ready to get it done and they do and stop the offense for a short game offense lines up here second and goal from the five what a catch touchdown tight ends are more valuable when you get close to the goal line because they can use their body and push off and get open that way to score touchdowns nice job that time with the tight end Ryan Sucka ready for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20 yard line. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. Going to lose yards here. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. The defense comes out in the nickel. Vic in shotgun formation. Cooper's got the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defense to back to stay with him. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Selleck's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. And he's intercepted. Linebackers nowadays are so they can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. They come to the line and it's first down. Jamal Charles carries the football. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. 
just a quick drop back. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. They've got a first down now after that catch. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. It's now second down. Play fake here. And the quarterback is taken down. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you got to drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. We'll be back from Kansas City for the start of the second after the break. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And D'Amico Ryans makes the tackle. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. First down, following the long play. Alex Smith from the gun reaches out and grabs it. And that's a gain of nine. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. This will be second down. Smith's going to take it from the gun. Finds the sacred side. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. The Chiefs for the extra point. It's good. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. Touchdown, this game is tight. You always tell the kick returner, when he's in the end zone, don't take it out. This time he does. Look at the blocks. Look at the speed and the moves. And takes it all the way for over a 100-yard touchdown. Ready to swing his leg as aggressively as possible and send the football down to the end zone. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Out of the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. And they get to him at the 45. That time the pass is completed in the double coverage, Jim, but... The quarterback made a bad read, but these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcells said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. And it's out of bounds incomplete.
failing to complete that one. So second down here. Handoff. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Well, this defense all over that play. They tackled the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third and long. Advantage goes to the defense. Last play was a run. Third down coming up. Throws the pass. He's in the clear. The 10. What an effort. And the touchdown. Got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback cheating. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. Makes the PAT. Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. They're not going to risk the big return, so here's the squib kick. He's brought down. First down here. Throwing now to his left. The tackle was made. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. That reception gave them the first down. Looks to his left. Could have been intercepted. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Second down at 10. The throw to the left. Reaches in, and that pass is incomplete. That's a wonderful job there, time by the secondary. Everybody's in position, nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. That ball has been picked off. Most NFL linebackers are borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. down as they head to the line. The give. Connor Barwin makes the tackle. Good job that time by the offense. Powell run gets him a few yards. Charles is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Second and six. He did everything right, didn't he? The quarterback that time, he was physical. He stayed on the wide receiver. He was reading the quarterback. So it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Split backfield here. Third and six. Surveys. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down.
Mark Smith's gonna take it from the shotgun. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator, fourth down try. He makes the right call, and they pick up the first down. We're getting close to the two-minute warning. Time for one more play. Scrambling out of the pocket. Two-minute warning. Number 11 on the line. No game on the play. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Second down and 10, getting sacked. Ah, oh, not a good job on the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. Nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. Offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? That ball was going the other way. That'll stop the play right there. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Two tight ends. First and ten, right where it had to be. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. Well, it's just a race against time, isn't it? When the defense blitzes, can you get to the quarterback before he has time to recognize the blitz and throw it to a receiver? Offense lines up here. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game. Their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. The Chiefs signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. Here's the first snap after the big play. Trying to work that left side. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. Second and goal at the one. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. That's a nice touchdown there. And you chip it away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? Did you hear the word choke? Yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. They're setting up the return. And that last play made by Pat Chung. A 
Alex Smith will take it right Let's from go, the center. Man, First and ten. Quarterback drops back. Play action. Catch is made. Good for 29. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. Charles is lined up in a single back formation. First and ten. And he's forced to the ground. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. He's setting up here. Let's He's been it. sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. And it's blocked. It's blocked. And Patrick Chung is able to bring him down. There is nothing more deflating to the offense in a football team than to watch your field goal kicker go out there and not even get it long enough or give it a chance to go through the uprights. Really big downer for the team. got a chance to return this one this is a big time return there is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams good blocking the speed of the returner gets down the field and after that tackle now they have good starting field position offense lines up here first down and ten Jamal Charles He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. Takes it from the eye. Patrick Chung makes the hit. you got to keep your offensive line with aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. First down here after the run. Gain of seven. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Alex Smith will take it right from the center. A second and three. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Throws to the right. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. So after that last incompletion, it is third and three. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it, to see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs, resting their defense, and tiring out the opponent's defense. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. And he was wide open. 
the best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. First down here after the completion. Looking to the right side and throwing. Touchdown, Kansas City. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The Chiefs with an extra point try on the way. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Suck up, ready for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. to the right here on this throw. Touchdown and drawing close. What a terrible job by the defense. That time nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field and hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. And he'll start his return. Spinning out of trouble. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Here's the quick toss to the running back. And they tackle him there at the 34. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. That pass was hurried. You are not going to be an accurate quarterback, of course, when you're under this kind of this kind of pressure. Doesn't even have time to set his feet. Another throw offline. The Eagles defense packs it in now, going with the 46. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, a double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. Smith's back in shotgun formation. Gets to about the 36. Well, you get a couple first downs on a drive. It just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. 
Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. Second and nine. He's wide open for the grab. Kansas City takes it across. How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. The Chiefs with the PAT to come. And the point after is good. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. Just past the 20, we'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Now in first down. Ball's picked off. In on the stop. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. The Eagles out now in a 4-6 formation. Now first and 10. And they'll give it to Jamal Charles. That's enough for a first down. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten, looking for an open receiver on the right. Holds him to seven. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. I don't even want to speculate what the injury is, but I think it's safe to say by just watching the player, he's in a lot of pain, and I hope it's not serious. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Game of six. Nothing too exciting here. Just plowing ahead, getting closer to that goal line. Well, they're trying to find out if this defense has the courage and toughness to stand up to them. So far, they haven't. This defense, they better pick it up if they think they're going to stop this offense. Well, defenses love it when they get you inside the five-yard line because it's hard to deceive them. So they can just go after the offense and be aggressive. The Chiefs' offense tries to continue some momentum, still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What Chiefs are into the score. Oh, what a good job there by the offense. Third and goal. And what did they do? They run the football against the defense. And nice job getting the touchdown. Lining up 
up now for the two. Back to the running back. So put down a touchdown and the two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. And he is tackled at the 44. Pressure. I know a lot of folks hold their breath when Vic decides to take off with it, but he can run the football. It's just a matter of how much punishment can he take. Yeah, I like the fact that he will still run the football, Jim, but I like the fact even more if he'd learn to get down and not try to pick up those extra yards because when you go for the extra yards, that's when you take the big hits. Split backfield here. Second and seven. Jackson's there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. First down, offense ready for the snap. Going to take off with it. And that's a gain of maybe five. Now they'll try over again on second down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, the quarterback had time, throws it down the field for another completion. out in the nickel throws to the right the Eagles now move the chain well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times it's a passing lead so we all know that so you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first down LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield reaches out and snatches it this is where games are won and lost once an offense gets down the red zone even though they're down more than seven can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? McCoy is going to receive. Touchdown. Runs it across. Touchdown. you got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. The Eagles for the extra point. And the extra point is good. They're lining up here for the onside kick. It looks like the onside kick's going to pay off here. Kicking team appears to have the ball. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Looking for a receiver. A takeaway. They bring him to the turf. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception.
They're going to try to catch the defense off guard as they line up in the Wildcat. First and ten. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. After running it, it's second down. The reception, easy, wide open. That's a touchdown. Got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback. Seen him. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson, and it falls incomplete. Quarterback has a strong arm, but I am starting to question his touch. Need a little more touch on those deep passes. That time he overthrows the receiver. Nickel formation here for the defense. Pick in shotgun formation. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Almost intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Nickel formation for the defense here. Looking to the right side and throwing. Brandon Flowers picks off that pass. He's brought to a halt. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. We'll take it right from the center. First and ten. And they'll run the football with Charles. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Offense lines up here. They need to get the playoff. That's a mindless error on the offense. Ball game, offense. Still second down. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line.
Charles is in the backfield, single back set. Third down and eight. Ball is snapped and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. What an effort and a touchdown. Just give this guy a little hope. This running back is so fast. If you block him just a little bit, get him in the open field, look out. He can make it happen. The Chiefs for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. Ryan Suckup ready for the kickoff. He will run this one back. Going to give his team great starting field position on that return. Go, go, go. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Fix looking long. And almost picked off. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time, and they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. To the ground here, running to the left side, picks up about four. Cooper is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Vic going to take the snap from the shotgun. And they sack him on third down. And they force the quick three and out. The defensive captain looks over and signals an immediate timeout. not going to get it done here and the offense is going to turn it over on downs situations like this sometimes can cost you the game you're down in the second half why would you go for it on fourth down in this situation you don't get it that decision might cost you this football game will take it right from the center. Jamal Charles carries the football. And this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time, they stopped that run just for a short game. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. It'll be second and nine. Makes the reception. When you have a lead in the fourth quarter, you like these short completions because you pick up yards and that clock keeps moving. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Oh, man, Jim, this just drives everybody crazy. The fans, even announcers like you and I, it's third and short, and you throw and complete the pass, but it's still not enough to get the first down. Jenkins, a receiver in the slot. It's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. 
The offensive coordinator just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback, so either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. Michael Vick will be under center. First and ten. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. McCoy's a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Selix shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Almost intercepted that time. A ton of defensive backs out here for this play. Jackson's got it on a pass that had some heat. The Eagles decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. He fires it in there tight. Down inside the red zone now, trying to score as quickly as possible. But listen, the defense has got to know the situation here. It's okay to give up a few yards, maybe give up a completion. Just don't give them the big play that gets the quick score. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Makes the grab. Cuts down at the end. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind, but I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. Trying to make something happen. Put an additional two points on the board as they converse. The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. take it right from the center. Smith sells the play fake and looks downfield. Getting sacked again. Pressuring the quarterback. That's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time they blitz. It was quick. It was fast. And they get a sack on the quarterback. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? That's it. This game is over. What a shootout it was, and what a great way to finish off the game with a victory like that. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to figure out if it's a shootout or just a lot of really awesome.